I just filmed this entire video and got to editing only to realise that none of it was in focus. Hello humans! In my last video I did a DIY lookbook book which was designed to help me out when I started design college and fun fact that's happened! I've started design college! This week was my first week and so far I have done two full days and one half day and then I've got another full day tomorrow and I am having the best time. It is so much fun, everyone is so nice, all the work is so interesting and creative and so totally up my alley I can't even imagine how I've spent my life not doing this. Now I've only been at design college for less than a week and I'm going to be here for possibly two years and I'm the kind of person who likes to document things and to look at what I thought at the beginning and then what I think at the end. This video is going to be all about what I'm thinking at the beginning of design college and so these are some of my first impressions of design school. My first first impression of design school is that designers have really cool hair and if they don't have hair to make it look cool they still come out pulled it off anyway. On my first day of orientation, I met a graduate student there who has bright blue hair and it's an undercut and then it's long at the back and it is fancy as little heck and it looked great and she was super cool, she was like all in black and she just, her hair was her artwork. One of the lecturers that I met on my first day, that very weekend had dyed his hair like a platinum kind of grey because he turned 50 and he thought it would be funny as a joke to make his hair go grey because he wasn't actually grey. I mean for crying out loud, my head of school is bald but he still wears hats with feathers and stuff in them and looks like this hipster design guy which is exactly what he is. And even the people that are in my intake that are starting this year with me, they all have great hair. Is there something in the orientation pack that I missed? Did I not get this magic letter telling me how to have great hair? I don't know. I don't know what this is, but it's a conspiracy and I'm going to figure it out. The second thing I noticed at design school is that a lot of designers wear glasses. I've never seen a higher concentration of glasses wearing people than at my design college. It's insane. It's still only one in four, five, maybe if we're lucky. It's pretty miraculous. And I have this theory that creatives see the world differently, right? We see it in colours and shapes as opposed to what might actually be happening right in front of us. And glasses are used for seeing. So maybe there's a connection there. Again, Design School Conspiracy Theories. I should just call this video Design School Conspiracy Theories. The next thing I know is, is there's kind of an unspoken dress code at Design School. There's definitely a spoken dress code. A dress code that includes things like no flip-flops in the printing factory. No clothing items that reveal your underwear of any description. But then alongside those spoken rules, there is this unspoken rule, which I like to call the go bold or go home rule, which basically states that a designer may not step into design school unless they're wearing solid colours or ridiculously bold patterns. None of this wishy-washy, flecks of different colours, feathery kind of looking pattern. Nah, uh Nah, uh No way, mate. If your pattern's not louder than your voice, you may as well just go home. And my last first impression of design school is that design is not as solitude driven as I once thought it was. I used to think that design was a one man sport. It was like swimming. You just, you swam. You go Glen Coco. But I realised now that design is more like soccer. Everyone plays a part and then everyone scores the goal together collectively and then it's a victory for everyone, not just for one person. Even in the past few days I've already been so impressed by how much they push this idea of collaboration and peer review and sharing of ideas and getting feedback from other people. It's just so contradictory to what I thought design was like. But no, design, you're a little team. You're all running the race together. It's like a relay, but not because you're all in the, it's like It's like soccer. I was right with my best analogy. And yeah, those were all of the first impressions that I had. I know I will come back to this video and re-watch this in two years time when I finish design school and laugh at myself and be like, Bella, you are such an idiot. But in honor of me starting design school and in confidence for the great creative years that are going to follow, I now actually have a design Instagram account, which is just Bella Rankin Design. But if you like design, if you like me, you should go and check it out. Chuck and follow. But apart from that, all my other social media links will be in the description box. Anyway guys, that's all I have to say today. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. If you're not, I hope it gets better. I love you all and goodbye. I should be posting a bit more regularly now because I'll actually be doing things that I can post about as opposed to just watching Vampire Diaries every day. Holla at ya. School holidays 2K16.